And welcome back to The Breakfast. Our final conversation this morning is going to be about sports. Uh, breaking news a few days ago, of course, uh, from uh, Chelsea, uh, said uh, Frank Lampard has been fired. Thomas Tuchel, who, of course, just left his job at uh, PSG, I believe, um, was, you know, brought in to replace him. We're having a conversation this morning with Wally Scott, and we're going to be talking about the controversy with regards coaches always having to uh, take the blame and bear the brunt for failure of a team. Good morning, uh, Wally. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so, so this is not the this is not the first time that we've seen something like this, you know. And obviously, I think when she mentioned it earlier, I was about to say that well, you can't sack eleven players, so one person has <laughs> right. to go. Right. <laughs> the coach has. That's to, true. Though. The That's coach true. has to go. That's but, true. Though. But I want you to help us, you know, break this down. When a team starts to fail, it happened with Jose Mourinho long ago. Uh, for some reason, Chelsea just w wasn't winning any games. You know, the the, the whole team was. Was, was falling apart. He, of course, got the axe. And it's happened consecutively with all the Chelsea With Jose Mourinho, though, word on the streets, call it gossip if you want, was that um, Ivanovic led um, a rebellion against, against Jose Mourinho. Yeah. So he ref they refused to play for him. That was the Would story. it be the same thing with, with Lampard? With L I don't think so. Really, um, Lampard, in my opinion, did very well. I'm not a big Chelsea fan, though, but he, I think he did very well. He brought in some fantastic players, you know, Kaya Verts, he brought in Timo Werner, he brought in Ben Chilwell, fantastic players, where, where they're coming from. But they came to Chelsea and they're not just stepping up their game. Now, the question will be, will that be Lampard's fault? I don't think so. You know, look at Thomas Tuchel. He actually was employed by Al Khalifa family. They are um, from Dubai, they are in United Arab Emirates, and he said, come and win us the Champions League. And the guy was winning the French Blue Championnat League like every day, you know? But he wasn't winning the Champions League. He actually managed to get to the finals last season against Bayern Munich, lost 1-0 against Bayern. And unfortunately, the goal scored by Bayern against Paris Saint-Germain was a player by the Paris Saint-Germain said he didn't want anymore and sold him to Bayern Munich, a young boy. And he's actually scored against them in the final of the Champions League. So the guy was like, we brought you here and give you so much money to actually win the Champions League. If you can't win it, leave. You know, and you ask yourself the question, and the manager did not win the Champions League. Duh, the player hasn't got, they didn't win the Champions League. You know, as in, I, I'm asking myself the question, yes, on easy lies the head. However, if the players don't step up their game, don't play to their optimal, don't do their best on the field of play, why play the game? Yes, I was going to ask you that really. Why is it that so few artists, so few athletes take responsibility for their own performance on the field when the team scores, you know, and the players get the credits, but when they lose, the coaches get the brunt? Osaroge said it all. He has just summarized the whole thing when the program started. You can't sack 11 players, actually. You know, I wish you could, but you can't. You know, and... Um, the coach actually gets to be the brunt. But I think it's unfair. I think that um, if players don't step up their game, don't play well, don't do their best on the field of play. Isn't it part of the responsibilities of a coach to bring out the best in a player? If for, a, for any reason you have one or two players that are very key in your 11-man squad that are not given their, you know, their best abilities, is it a failure of the coach to be able to bring out the best in them and ensure that the whole team is working you know, to its optimum? You see, it, 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 it's more convenient to say the coach can bring out the best in you. Do you want to bring out the best in yourself? You have to work on yourself first. The coach can only tell you you can do better, you can run faster, you can play on the right wing, you can play on the left wing. That's all he can do and try and psych you up. Now, why do you think a, 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 an average team has a whole squad in their managerial this thing? The manager is there. They have a physiotherapist. They have a psychologist. You know, some of the things that the coach can do is, yeah, psychologist, work on this guy. He can do better. You know, he can only do as far as that. Well, see, if you are a parent, you can only advise your child as you are going to school now in Ife or Ibadan, Don't whatever. Bad Behave yourself. <laughs> yeah. That's the best you can do. All right. And, see, yeah, in, this, know, so. in this Lampard case, he took to Instagram just yesterday, you know, complaining about this, saying he didn't get enough time to, you know, push the team to succeed. Do you think so? That is the most important thing that as you have just said all week. Arsenal kept faith with Mikel Arteta. Arsenal is doing quite well right now. Manchester United kept faith with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. They are in the fifth round of the FA Cup. They are on top of the Premier League right now as we speak. And on like weeks ago, they were saying, Ole go, Ole must go. They kept faith with him. Alex Ferguson, the most successful English Premier League manager, not my manager, 
English Premier League manager had five years of failure. He didn't win anything in five years. But, um, they kept faith with him. Wale, so you feel, Wale, he should we, have, you feel Lampard should have been I extended think that should have been grace. more patient with him, yes. Yeah, but I think you must also agree that we've moved from, you know, a phase in football where a manager can be, can be given three years or four years to continue trying until he gets it right. Um, um, the Liverpool manager was lucky, I believe, you know, that you know, he was able to you know, get as far as he possibly yes, could with the Yes, because a board, a, a reasonable board, we we'll understand that if you spend so much money, we will not translate success immediately. Let's get that clear. All right. It took Klopp a while, a while to actually build that in. However, Abramovich, who owns Chelsea, has said many years ago that he is not an... In Chelsea for him is not an investment. He's not an investor in Chelsea. He's a fan of the club. So, and like every fan, fans want to win like every day. Fans never want to lose. All so, right. remember, it's like a regular fan who wants to win like every day. You don't win. Just, All right. uh, just to quickly mention, you know, using mm -hmm. the Manchester United example, remember that David Moyes also was was fired. Um, uh, Van Gaal was also fired, you know, because you know the board also lost patience with them. So, um, so should have been given, you know, a little more time. You know, yes, he's like, a club know. legend. Well, well, we're running out of time right legend. now. I guess we should just say good luck to Thomas Tuchel and yeah. OP. He does better for the club and give them what they want. I don't see want. that coming the words, Okay. Thank you very <laughs> much, Wally Scott, for your time on the breakfast. First on Plus Thank TV you, Africa. Thank you, it's a wrap here Thank on you. The Breakfast. My name is Aneta Felix. And I'm Osaogi Ogbonwa. We, of course, uh, will be jumping out of here now. The news comes up at 9 a.m. this morning with me. Uh, but before that, quickly remember that you could catch up on any other details of these conversations that we had this morning, if you missed out on it, on social media, at Plus TV Africa, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Same with our YouTube channel. It's bye from me. See you at 9. And have a beautiful day.